हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कैंपस एक्स आज हम एक प्रॉब्लम करेंगे नेक्स्ट लार्जर एलिमेंट इन एडी ठीक है सो इस प्रॉब्लम के पीछे का लॉजिक देखेंगे वी आर गोइंग टू यूज स्टैक ऑफ कोर्स और इसको कोड आउट करेंगे जावा में सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम सो द प्रॉब्लम इज कि यू हैव एन एरे यू विल बी गिवन एन एरे एंड फॉर एवरी एलिमेंट यू हैव टू फाइंड द नेक्स्ट लार्जर एलिमेंट in that array for example if this array is given 3 6 7 so for this 3 the next larger element is 6 for this 6 the next larger element is 7 so for this 1 that uh, yeah now for this 7 the next larger element is 9 now for 11 there exists no next large element so you put a minus 1 there and same is the case for 3 and 1 So now, how can you go ahead and do this using stacks? So pause the video, think about it for a second, and then come back here. So, what is the logic? So we'll have an input list, a stack, and an output list. We will we will traverse the input list from the from behind. Uh, means we we're going to find the larger next large element for one, then three, from then eleven. and so on when in the corresponding places we are going to place the next large element found okay so we are going to fill the output list from the back so let's get started so first one so the idea is that for every element pop elements from the stack until you find something which is greater than 1 or the stack is empty so for 1 you are you are going to pop elements from the stack until you get something which is greater than 1 now in this case the stack is empty so you put a minus 1 here now after you put a minus 1 here you push the 1 to the stack and then for the next uh, input which is 3 what you do you, you pop elements from the stack until you find something which is greater than 3 so you pop 1 first after that you see uh, there exists no element so you write a minus 1 and then you push the 3 into the stack then for 11 same is the case so you pop elements until you find something greater than 11 which is 3 you pop 3 then you see that um, the stack becomes empty so you write a minus 1 here and you push the 11 into the stack for 9 you see that the next element is 11 and you have found out the next larger element for 9 which is 11 so you write it here and you push the 9 into the stack Okay, same is the case for one. For one, uh, you will have nine here, and the one will get pushed here. For seven, we have to pop things until we find something greater than seven, which is nine. So we pop one first, and then we find nine. So we write nine here, and we push the seven into the stack. And for every other element, the outputs will be these. So these are our outputs now. कुछ एलिमेंट्स रह गए स्टैक में और स्टैक हम लोग को और जरूरत नहीं है सो विल थ्रो दैट आउट सो थैंक यू एंड लेट्स गो टू द कोडिंग सेशन सो हियर आई एम एट द इंटेलिजेंट प्लेटफॉर्म सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी गोइंग टू डू इज मेक आवर इनपुट लिस्ट एंड आवर आउटपुट लिस्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू इम्पोर्ट लिंक लिस्ट फ्रॉम यूटिल्स पैकेज नॉट लिंक लिस्ट वी नीड जावा टू सॉरी स्टैक टू सो वी आर गोइंग टू इम्पोर्ट ऑल so link list integer ll equal to new link list so this will contain our input list and we are going to ha- also have to make an output list right so which will hold the uh, next larger element stack integer which is stack equal to new stack now we are going to make an input method as we always do uh, what this input method will do is it will uh, initialize this input list so we are going to fill things in this input list uh, also you have to keep in mind that whenever you are using something in a static context you have to make them static otherwise gali dene lag jayega compiler so static void input and in this input method we are going to uh, write वे गोइंग टू इनपुट दिस एरे आप यूजर इनपुट कर सकते हो या फिर मैं अभी के लिए मैनुअल कर देता हूँ आप बाद में चेंज कर लीजिएगा दिस विल बी नाइन 
सो मैं क्विकली इनपुट्स बना लेता हूँ सो हियर आर आवर इनपुट्स थ्री सिक्स सेवन वन नाइन नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द कोड एल्गोरिज्म ओके सो वे गुन टू रिवर्स द इनपुट लिस्ट फ्रॉम बिहाइंड राइट सो आई इक्वल टू एल एल डॉट साइज माइनस वन आई ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो आई माइनस माइनस सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज ट्रेवर्सिंग दिस लिस्ट फ्रॉम बिहाइंड सो वॉट आई सेट दैट फॉर एवरी एलिमेंट सो एल एल डॉट गेट आई इज द एलिमेंट फॉर विच वी आर करेंटली लुकिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट लार्ज एलिमेंट वॉट वी गुन टू वे गुन टू पॉप थिंग्स फ्रॉम द स्टैक वे गुन टू डू स्टैक डॉट पॉप अंटिल अंटिल वी हैव वी फाइंड समथिंग विच इज ग्रेटर देन दिस करेंट एलिमेंट सो स्टैक डॉट पीक इज लेस देन इक्वल टू एल एल डॉट get i right we get some we will continue popping until we get something which is greater than uh, this current ll dot get i okay and we also have another criterion the stack can be empty right the stack uh, after we are popping things it can get empty so we are going to stop if the stack becomes empty okay now we have to check that if the stack has become empty that means we Uh, did not find any. Uh, we did not find any element. So we are going to do output list dot add minus one. Now remember we were filling the output list from behind, right? So we will input. Actually, we will add this element in the front, right? It's like I'm uh, appending things in the front, so it's like getting filled from the last. This output list. Now if the stack was not empty. then we have found something which is uh, greater than element uh, greater than this ll dot get i we have found that and where is it it's in stack dot peak okay so that is our code so let's print it and see if it's working so we're going to give a nice message the next larger elements are for integer item in output list i'm writing enhanced for s out item plus backslash t okay so what are going to be the outputs let's see uh, let's explore what we have seen so for this 3 we are going to get 6 for this 6 we are going to get 7 sorry 7 not 8 then for this 7 we are going to get 9 then for 1 we are going to get 9 for Nine, we're going to get eleven. For eleven, we're going to get minus three, minus one, minus one, minus one. So for three, minus minus one. For one, minus one. So let's see if that works. Okay, uh, we forgot to do one thing. It did not work. Was at last we forgot to push the current element onto the stack. Right? We have to push the current element after we are checking for the next large element. Right? Otherwise, how will we find the next large element? So we have to do a little dot get i. Yeah, stack dot push. and let's try one more time we have run into one bug as of now and there you go this is the output so thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next video